Hello, and welcome to, or welcome back to some more DC. All right, so uh, last episode, we were over here. We kind of got all this stuff, kind of started building. We're doing all this crazy stuff. And then we started making this nice little run over here so we can start trying to get some of this stuff. Now, uh, me and Pete played a little bit on Discord last night, uh, just kind of figuring the game out, trying to, you know, both of us trying to get us some learning going. What are you doing? What, what are you doing? Why are you not? You, you score things there. All right. Uh, so, and I've learned quite a few little things, right? Uh, so there's, there's some little stuff. Sorry. First of all, if I want to go back here, uh, and when I say, if I want to go back here, um, I'm going to go back here. I'm going to change. I'm going to make a few things. First, uh, I, I want to change kind of how I'm doing some stuff. So I learned there's this cool little button over here in the build menu where we can go to library. Right now, you notice I have a couple of extra things in here. Uh, you won't have these. Uh, and we also have prefabs, right? So this is a prefab building that they, they show us how to build, right? So what I want to do is I'm going to go, I'm going to close this thing down. And the way you put stuff in there is you're going to go down here to your library. And you're going to go here. And you're going to go unnamed. And you'll see like this mini, mini minor bot, uh, prefab here, right? You can go and edit any of these you want. You can create folders. You can do whatever you want to, right? So if you hit create new, and I can select anything that I can build, right? So if I build this guy here like this, right? And then this is a prefab. I can, my medium slot socket here. I can go down here. I can look for different stuff. Um, and I can say, I want to put this guy into the medium, right? So I want you to, I want it to start with one of those, right? Now, the only trick with this is, is if you build this, then you have to have the, an assembler in place, right? So, uh, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and say it's unnamed, right? And then I'm going to go here. Right, I'm just going to name it assembler, right? I hit enter, saves that, easy enough, right? Um, I can go into behaviors if I want and change stuff around there too, right? Now, I'm going to go up here. I'm going to take my assembler here. I'm going to pull my assembler off for a second. Okay, and then I'll we'll pull this guy here off. Go ahead and pull that, that, that guy out. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here and I'm going to go back here to my blue, my builds, go back to my library. Oh, look at that medium building. And then I'm going to go like this and go. Boop. And now what will happen is they're going to go and build this. But if you look, it pops in with the assembler eye. Now the trick here is, is to make sure that when you do this, you actually have something producing assemblers. Because you need to have assemblers working here. Because if you don't have assemblers here, it won't build this. So you don't need a lot of them. And this, this thing will only back fill and build, build two of the assemblers. Uh, but in the grand scheme of things, it's really helpful to have it. So what I'm going to do is I get that guy built. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do here. I'm going to do this. I'm going to go. Boop, boop, boop. And I'm going to build me a couple of more. So what will end up happening now is this guy's going to start building assemblers for me. These guys are going to start building uh, basically raw ones. So I'm going here. I'm going to tell this guy I want him to make uh, I want him to make small batteries. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have the basically using blueprints and build the base. Now, I haven't found a way where I can just copy a large like section of things and just paste them down and just magically have another another section of these guys kind of pop out. Uh, at some point, maybe I'll find that, uh, but probably not for a while. Now, here, what I'm going to do is I'm going here. I'm going to change this guy from... from 
just a few of them, right? Turrets, we want all the turrets now. This guy, instead of having just a few of these, I want him to build all of those now. Originally, I had these guys set up so that they only built one or two of them. Or I built however many I needed to build the, the uh, what I was built. Uh, I, I've had an epiphany, and it's better for me to have this assembler just basically always having two of these sitting around. Or always building up to two of them. Uh, and just making my life a little bit easier. Uh, so now the reason I do that is because if I go up here to these guys, right, and then I go back to this, I can go to my power extender here. Look, power extender. So I'll put a power extender out. And then I'm going to go here to the double, double defender, right? And I'm going to go poop, like this. And what will end up happening now is my base, all on its own, will produce everything that I need between the, the turrets, the, that guy, all that stuff. And instead of me having to go back and try to grab these things and move them over and, and try to get them to, to, to go through and do things, it, 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 it's a lot easier to do it this way. Okay. Now, those blueprints you can do with pretty much anything. Uh, whether it's a drone, whether it's a, uh, pretty much if you can build it and, and put things on it where it can come like pre-assembled, uh, you can do it. Now, another thing you can do is I can grab all of my guys like this. And I hit control one and now they, they're all, they're all tied to my thing, right? So now if I'm like, oh crap, I need them down here. I hit one, right click where I want them to go, and Bob's your uncle. I have I have them on their way. Um, now another thing I probably need to do is build me a forward re or forward uh, repair base up here someplace, uh, and then probably build me another one of these little spaces that has the repair uh, repair building on it. Because uh, right now, in order for me to repair stuff, I got to run it all the way back here. To my my uh, I do have a repair guy here, right? Where is it? here? It's way down here, right? So I probably don't want to have to go all the way back down here for repairing all the time, uh, because if I do, uh, that's gonna make it uh, kind of take some time. Uh, so we'll run them back here real quick. We'll get everybody repaired up, uh, but we can do that. This will eventually be kind of a little bit better off. Uh, may take me a little bit of time, but we can start clearing off the top of this mountain, get some of these guys cleared out, and hopefully not lose uh, too many more of our guys in the process. Um, as we're starting to, to figure out the game and how to do it and, and things like that, uh, it's it's a uh, pretty pretty good. Uh, I need to build more of these guys. That's that's what I'm what I'm seeing happen. What I see going on. So we'll, we'll have them all go back, and you'll see he'll start slowly getting getting healed back up. You'll see, you click on him, and it says, you know, who he's, who he's trying to repair. Easy enough. So, if we, uh, well, eventually we'll have these guys kind of figured out. They're just being slow and pokey. So we'll go back to one. Bring our guys back up here. Uh, so, and you can make, especially if you have, uh, and you can honestly have them uh, basically pre-configured completely the way you want them to do. Like I said, the only issue is, is depending on the stage of the game that you're at versus the stage of the game that you built for. Uh, and then uh, this guy right here, um, I've learned a very difficult lesson. Uh, he is a pain in the but um, I I wish I wish I hadn't I found it last night because uh, it, it would be a lot funnier for you guys if I hadn't. Uh, but that guy is a pain in the keister. Um, so what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to find one guy. Because uh, what I need is, I basically need a bot that I can sacrifice. Uh, so, if you guys don't know what that is, spoilers, it's, uh, he's a jerk. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make me a worker bot. We'll eventually get him, get him turned out here. There he is. So, a worker bot. Uh, and then I'm going to take that one single worker bot and I'm going to send him down there to talk to that guy. So, and <laughs> we'll, we'll see the, the, the fun of this stuff. So, uh, if you, if you don't, if you don't know what's going to happen when I go see him and you don't want to know, I turn away now. Uh, but I will tell you right now, uh, it, it's, 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 it's both funny and horrible at the exact same time. Uh, so the, uh, but we'll go down here and talk to him real quick. Slowly get all that stuff kind of worked out up there. What's this thing doing? You have oh, infected what seems there you go. Proximity based self replicating virus. Effects are unknown, but I have manufactured a component. Oh, a bunch of jerks. From the virus. You can produce the component in the assembly. So we'll go ahead and we'll open our research. Time, keep the infected unit away from other units to avoid We'll more set infections. our research there. That is fine. All right. So somewhere down here. Now you notice our little worker here. There's a couple of things. First, he's powered down. Uh, second, you notice he is also sparking and arcing. Uh, you do not want to uh, to do this. Now, there's a couple of things you can do with this guy. First of all, uh, he's kind of useless to me uh, because, well, uh, he is uh, he's got a virus, uh, and more importantly, since he has a virus, uh, it's he's he's gonna be it's gonna be bad. So, what we want to do with him? is go park him someplace. Uh, and if I'm not really worried about him being murderized right now. So there, there's another glitch buck up there. There's another glitch spot. Uh, and then, you know, he's, he's, being, he's dropping things on the ground too. So uh, you need a bunch of those to be able to get that thing started. Uh, but we do not need them at the moment. All right. So we'll get those guys back up there. They're protecting that. Glitch bots down there being glitchy. Uh, and then what I need to find, and I know this because I need to find Oh, I lost him. Damn it. Man, I tell you, these guys are jerks. All right. Oh, those guys are jerks. <laughs> <laughs> it, those large worms are a pain in the butt and I'm not seeing I'm not seeing their they're not dropping the carcasses that's not helpful so you need to find the the uh there they are right there. that's what I need right So these uh the the bug uh, chicken is uh really really helpful uh, because I'm gonna need it.
get all that stuff put away. Eventually get back and get our stuff kind of built. Back to there. All right, now we've lost some more guys. We'll get those guys fixed back up again. Uh, we're still waiting for these guys to get their stuff figured out. Get these guys back. We'll add another one. We lost two units. Virus on the network is detected. Um, and then we're going to go up here, and I'm going to take this guy. Uh, and we need to build... Basically, I need to build 10 of these, I think. 10 of those. So you need the, the bug chicken in order to be able to build that. So the circuits, I'm not super worried about. I'll eventually get those. I have those, but uh, eventually we need to get these guys figured out. Uh, we're slowly, we're almost to the point of getting those. I'm probably going to have another one of these guys start producing uh, the, the plates. Uh, we just we just need more of them. One, go ahead, add them. Control one, and we will we will reconnect all those guys back in. And then we probably need to build two more of our our happy guys there. And then. We can also, eh, we're, we're doing okay with these guys for now. All right, so this guy, I'm going to have, I want you to make reinforced backing plates again. Uh, I, just, I just need more reinforced backing plates. It takes me so long to make them that it just, I think everything else is kind of backed up. Now, eventually you can set it up so that you can have like a little supply chain of, like I can connect this this one to this one and this one to, and set up a supply chain and eventually you can even have like teleporters that like bounce stuff and things like that. There's a there's a lot of intricacies and a lot of things in this game that we haven't quite figured out yet, uh, and we're we're going to uh, we'll end up having to figure out. All right, so I'm gonna have this guy build a repair repair base here. That's fine. Uh, so we have those, we have those, I want you to build, uh, shields, I want you to build, what do I want you to build? Uh, Maybe, maybe we'll do that later. That stuff is all okay. We'll have you build those, though. So, ultimately, what will end up happening is now we can we can auto-produce uh, these guys. So, if we wanted to go down here, and I want to say here, I'm going to go uh, in our drone defender, right? So, now I actually have everything I need to build these guys. So if I want to just say, you know, build me 10 more of them. Or 11 more of them. Uh, we'll eventually get more and more of those guys. And that way we can be a little bit easier about going in and uh, doing a little bit of, of uh, shenanigans here. Uh, so hopefully we'll eventually have these guys get their stuff figured out. Now I will tell you also, and, and more spoilers here too. Uh, but our little glitch bot friend down here, uh, if he runs into uh, bugs, he can give the virus to the bugs. Uh, and <laughs> Pete was having a lot of fun last night running around, uh, basically giving the virus to the bugs and watching them shut down. It was great. Uh, so it is a valid tactic to uh, kind of use the virus to shut down the uh, the NPCs. And it works uh, effectively well. All right, so 
We'll slowly, slowly get these guys going out. The only other thing, and eventually, I wonder if, I wonder if I can, can I do that? Can I? So I'd have to put a box in there to tell them I may be worth me making a box here real quick. Uh, we're still making a box. All right, that's fine. We'll, I'll get that here in a second. Everybody's all charged up. See if we can find somebody to shoot lasers at. We'll eventually get we'll we'll eventually get some some heavier guys. Just our skirmishers. There they are. There's the blood. Oh, there's. These worms are vicious. Jesus, like they are like horrible. All right, well, that's all gone bad. All right, we're, we're doing well, though. All right, so I think yeah, we're done building those. But I want to build, I want to build a behavior controller. And then we'll kind of let these guys kind of get figured out. Figure out what, what are these guys missing over here? Why are y'all being so slow to... Oh, you're missing those. Oh, because I'm, I'm basically pumping all those into, into the building block at the same time. Um... Oh, and I can only build one at a time. Oh, that's a meaty turret. That doesn't do anything good. That that would be it. That would be what my problem is. Get that thing out of there. And get all that stuff out. All right. So that will be helpful because that will start putting those out. That should be a little bit more range. Probably would have been smart to, to have used that instead. So hopefully we'll eventually get these guys up here built. We should have, uh, yeah, there's the, the lasers coming in now. There you go. So now, now we have a couple, couple of lasers, just kind of a, a point to kind of defend our little guy there. I'll be good. I'll be good. Get that out. Don't get that in there. All right. Now, now that we're actually building our stuff that we need to be able to have things built, we just need to get the virus research done. And it's just being pokey. Just being pokey. But yeah, so, it, I don't know. It, this game, like I said, I'm still trying to learn it. Uh, I was actually debating on whether or not to restart and kind of kind of come back at this a different way. 
obviously the shields the shields don't seem to work as well as I would like to think that they seem should. Uh, but they it, it's just it is what it is, I guess. Um, the uh, maybe it, maybe I need to build more forward deployment bases, build up a nice little fence, you know, get us some some protection. Uh, you know, little, little things in life. But we'll uh, we'll we'll cross that bridge. We'll get here, here very soon. Let's over here. I think I actually set this guy up so that they they go to we'll get this pick ball down there. So that way they'll all kind of come out our way. Now I want it to send. This guy into this. And I want it to. Is it in there yet? It isn't there. Behavior controller, right? So unit global place to construct campus distance getting in search home day night notify read key turn. Number, get battery, okay. So global faction item amount, okay. Item okay. So this is just laser mining tool, sure. Result. All right, so that maybe I was hoping to get a thing where I can go like if if you have a number of bots, uh, your number all on regard. Yeah, um, I'm going to have to look into it and see if maybe at some point we can do a thing where we can go, okay, if you have, if I don't have enough, uh, you know, if I if I have five miners, I want, you know, always keep me 10 miners in, in the thing or whatever. Let's do this again. Hopefully this time with, with more, more anger. Oh, a little bit of light going on up there. And these these guys are fairly disposable. Uh, it's like, you know, if I do lose them, like, at the most part. And then, as far as I can tell, when you do lose them, they just drop all their stuff on the ground. Basically, all you lose is the bot. Uh, so it's not a horrible loss. It does, you know, it's not often, it's not a great loss. Uh, but... It's uh, it could be worse. And you know, if I wanted to shut down the base, I could just take my little glitchy bot down here and run him into the base. Uh, but the problem is, is it's not a hundred percent that he's going to do it. Uh, so it's it's more of a question of uh, you know, it's it, and I probably should clear him off the board. Uh, the other problem, too, is if I do run him in there and I do glitch into them, uh, then uh, there's a chance that they'll spread the, the virus and then I can end up spreading it myself. 
<laughs> so that's just something to be aware of. It's something to think about. Those, those damn worms, man. Those things are horrible. Got the chitchen. Pick up all of our items that we decided to leave laying around on the ground. If they're actually picking up and like loading them into another location. Probably should actually change those so that I have uh, shields built into those also. That'll probably be okay. Try to put some of these stuff back into storage. It will get our guys back. Get them healed up real quick. Probably. Pick these guys up real quick. All of those up. All right, easy enough. So let's do this. I'm going to go here. I'm going to create another one. And then I'm going to create medium building. Then I want to build. Double of these down. And then I want to build and double the shields. I can, evidently. All right. Go ahead. I leave it for now. That that'll be good. Oh, uh, I hit my caps lock at some point. Pair building. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here, go there, library, boom, there. Repair building. So what will end up happening is that we'll put in the call for those guys to come up here, bring all that stuff to us. And we'll do this. There you go. Now all that stuff is put away. We'll eventually get our repair building up here, uh, and that will allow us to repair our guys a little bit easier. Give us more uh, more stuff to kind of kind of keep that one going. They're still missing a uh, a shield module. There you go. So shield module. But <laughs> thirty plates. That shouldn't take me too long. Should be should be easy enough to do. Oh, that's weird. All 
right, we're just gonna make more of those. I, I'm I'm done with these bugs. We're gonna we're gonna have a chat with them. Oh yeah, we've already got twenty of our twenty of our things up there already. We're declaring war on the bug. Well, the bugs have declared war on us. We're just gonna we're just gonna answer back. With a no sir, I don't like it. All right, so there's that, that guy. So they're already up, preparing our box for us. Slowly, slowly doing what we need to do. And it, they're not going to be fast, uh, but it should, you know. And then not only that, but it'll keep all these these buildings kind of on the the uh, the front here, the front lines kind of kind of together, uh, and and safe. So let's go. Let's go ahead and go build here. Power extender. I'm gonna move this guy there. Uh, power extender. That. That should be all right. Now, if I actually go in, so like I said, the, the real trick is is just to make sure that you're not over it or uh, like changing your blueprint. You're like, oh, I got new shield tech, and you add shields to it. If you make a new game, you won't be able to build those. You'd have to edit it to take the shields out. Uh, I don't know if there's a way for me to say build it without it. Uh, does it seem like there is? And then this guy here will be depending on how far he can actually see. Uh, I don't know if it can actually, how far it reaches. And hit one, hold on control, stack some more. Yeah, we're 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 going. We're going for it. We are we are going to have a discussion with, with our new friends. Why are you not? And we can double shield them too, so that may be that may be something we do in the future. That research, oh, research is taking forever. Oh, I think it's probably because we're out of out of. We are out of the power. So we have these guys up here. I, I am not making both of those that I need to. Those guys being made. All right, that is all going well. That's weird. Why are only some of the vital? All right, let's go see if we can find our friends over here again. Hopefully this time without all of my, you know, he's getting knocked out. Like I said, we just want to make sure we stay away from old Glitchy McGee over there. Come on. Come on, bugs. I know y'all got a base over here someplace. There you go. There you go.
Yeah, like, dude, those worms are, God, they are horrible. Make sure we pick up the chitchens here real quick. Not good. Not good at all. There they go. Stupid trilobites. And those are the big ones, man. They are they are horrible. They just hit like freaking freight trains. Really, the only thing you can do is just go take their base out. I, I wish, why can't we all just get along? Yeah, it's just more and more of them coming in. And the trick is, is to try to not just be able to overwhelm them. Because if they can get in there like that and just start whacking on you it's it's not good oh that is that's really not good that we're gonna start with some. dang it wasn't paying attention we've overextended ourselves and they're just gonna rip us to shreds oh my lord <laughs> uh Yeah, they, 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 yeah, they, those things are so strong. They're just, just going to rip us to threads. And there's, because I, I didn't have enough power in there. I, I know, guys, come on. <laughs> I, it, they, they hit so hard. And I understand I've got, there. it's kind of a low end guy there, but oh God, they hit so hard. Um, so, all right, well, well, we're making more of them. Uh, so we're, uh, we're just gonna, we're just gonna make some more of these guys here. All right. Well, uh, we'll be back when I have more of them. <laughs> uh, but with that, I think we'll go leave. Uh, we'll go take off for a little bit, um, uh, and, uh, continue to make more of our guys here. And then, uh, we'll see, see if we can get, uh, some more of this stuff built. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please always leave those down below. Uh, if you do uh, like this series and you want to see more of it, make sure you throw a like on it. Make sure you're subscribed to see all the new stuff I'm putting out and all the different games. Uh, and if you have anything else, uh, there's descriptions for the game down in the, in the description below, the Discord, all that stuff. And uh, with that, we will talk to you all soon. Talk to you all later.